Barb, Barb, that's a very good question, and that's why our campaign has not put up public signs in the public right of ways on state roads or highway roads, unless we're doing a little form like this where we'll put it up um, for the evening and then temporarily take it down. Um, uh, my integrity will never be compromised, and so we're not going to start to break the law before um, we even get elected into, into office. And I think that's a, that's a very valid question because I think everyone here either already knows the law and just um, considers just to decide to ignore it, and, um, and you need to check their integrity because of that. Or even if they, they don't know it by now, because we've had so many candidates forms regarding this, should, um, at a minimum, abide by the law. And so our campaign, you, you have not seen any Tamara Davis round signs, whether the large ones or small ones, on state or county public rights of ways. And so I, um, I can be trusted because I am um, following the letter of the law and being, and, 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 and I, I would hope that our fellow candidates would also follow suit. Again, my name is Catherine Taggart Ross. Um, Ray. I also wanted to answer your question in regards to the sign. According to what I read, July the 17th is the date that the signs can go forward. And I had my granddaughter do the calculation, so I hope her math was correct. If the date is wrong, let me know. She's only 12, so I gave her Oh, so I got to let her know her math ain't on, on point. See that? I trusted a 12-year-old. Um, but in regards to my campaign, just to let you know, I decided to run my campaign myself. I decided to use my own money. You will not see signs out there all over the road about me. My campaign is heart to heart, word of mouth, and believe what you see in me and hear from me. I am the candidate. I believe in talking to you as an individual and as a person, straight face to face. So I'm not out here trying to be flashy, trying to be commercialized and showing that I want to be the District 9 County Council person. I want to be this person because I think working together with you, we can do greater things for District 9. Well, I guess I owe everybody an apology. Um, never thought I was breaking the law, but that's my ignorance. Uh, but to let you know, is, uh, I got four signs up by uh, Brandywine, auto parts up at the intersection that they left up there we did a wave today. Now, I want to clarify something. The one signs you've seen probably, I don't even know how many of them there are, these kids made them up. Who is Ron Fisher? Those signs went up when the snow removal um, went up. The kids started doing that as a joke. They're a non-political sign. It was brought to my attention by several of you all, and uh, they were up for several months ago to let people know as a joke what I was doing in the community. Um, since several of y'all brought it to my attention, I will send my people out and they will be removed. It was not intentionally to break the law to be doing that. It was not a political game. And you will see signs up all along this area in people's yards. And you're allowed to do that, like she said, in law, but your First Amendment right to put signs up. And uh, I extremely apologize, and I'm, as she said, that's a good point you make. I'm not trying to break the law, and that was a good point there. But who is Ron Fisher was put up by um, a lot of young kids, and they came up with the design, and then we added on to it. Um, but there, you know, the political signs, I know of four. Uh, Ron Fisher says County Council for District 9 um, are right at Brandywine. They did a wave, and someone called me, actually. Uh, Winnie gave me a call and said, hey, you guys left uh, four little signs up there, and we're going to go pick those up. If you see any other places, please let me know that are on the state road. I did not not make an excuse that they shouldn't be. There. Okay, that was a that was a great question, and um, you made a great point about integrity. That was that was a great point. Um, one thing that I do want to share is um, I have a real estate background, and that is permitted for realtors, but as my first time running, um, I had another candidate share that with me. We had a heart to heart, didn't we, Tammy? And uh, me and Tamara uh, talked, and I took my signs down, and from that, my signs are on the problem. Thank you.
Well, I have no confession to make. Uh, I'm really uh, excited about uh, when I can put up my signs in people's on people's private property. Also, I uh, made a phone call to one of the uh, realtors in the county who has a lot of signs posted. And I called him and I said, uh, sir, I want, I'm not calling for contribution or anything like that. I'm calling for your permission. And he laughed and he said, that's a first from a candidate. And, I, you know, we laughed about it. But I did get permission to post my signs at the appropriate time under some of the signs uh, that this realtor has and he's all over the county. So if you see my signs up, it's because I did get permission from the owners and the prop of the uh, realtor who is representing those owners. You know, that, that's, it's, it's a fair question, but every election cycle we do have Candidates, there, there are areas where it's well known that the state and county allows candidates to leave signs. They probably shouldn't do it, but they, but they do allow it. Um, but let me make a very quick point. Uh, it was someone made the case that their campaign is not breaking the law. If you go outside right now, in front of the building, you'll see a bunch of campaign signs. Now, the law doesn't have an exception for campaign forms. Okay, so if we want to adhere to the letter of the law, let's not be selective. Right. Okay, um, so technically, I'm not sure if everybody here's got a sign out there. No, I, I don't. So, I, so I don't. who does? I know I do. I don't. You do? I don't. Anybody else? Okay, we're all breaking the law. Technically, if we want to. No, by not the me. No, not everybody. Yeah, no, no, not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let's, I used to be a police let's officer. Be, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Okay, there is no exception. Campaign forms. Okay. So, but but your question is right on right on point. So you'll take them down? So they're coming down everywhere? Excuse me. You'll oh, take them down? Um, <laughs> but the question was, can you trust the person if they've already got campaign signs on state roads and county roads that are, in, uh, are illegal county roads as well as state roads? And uh, again, I have, uh, you have not seen any of the Tamara Davis Brown signs. And, and Mr. Franklin makes a good point, but um, you, you have to admit that um, you have not followed the law at all and have been, and have been, and you're an attorney and you should know. You, you, should, know. you should know as well. This right. Is, there's right. no exception. So there, there's no